Hey guys, we just got back from Costco, so I'm going to show you what we got. We're actually going on vacation in a week, so for a couple nights, and um, the boys are staying with my mom, so we get a husband and wife getaway. Thank God it's been like four or five years since we got to go away anywhere alone. So we just got a few things to last for the week, and then things that, you know, won't expire or go bad before we eat them. So check it out. So starting off, we got some late July tortilla chips. There's my monster coming down the hallway with recyclables. <laughs> we got some rice rollers. We still have some left from the last time we went, but um, sometimes they don't have stuff, so I like to get it while they have it, especially when it's stuff like that that they'll last will last a long time. Got some Hello. cinnamon harvest. Hi. Want to say hi? Hey. <laughs> we got some cinnamon harvest. Cinnamon. I'm um, sorry. Oh, uh, blah blah blah. Cereal. <laughs> Um, the kids like this one and it's, it's, you know, dairy free and everything. Somebody at work keeps finding these in the mini bars and, um, they keep giving them to me and now I'm like addicted. They're so, so delicious. So since they had a big one there, I got one and I really love this one too. So I got two green juices and an acai juice. Got some peanut butter for the boys school lunches. I got a th one thing of mangoes. I made sure to get the ones that are kind of still green because the last time I bought them, they didn't ripen very well and they were like all smashed and bruised on the inside. So I tried to get ones that aren't very ripe and they can just ripen here in the house. I got a bag of Cara Cara oranges and a flat of Fiji apples that are organic. I got, I only got three, I got some nuts, pumpkin seeds, sprouted pumpkin seeds. And I only got three bags of bananas since, like I said, we're going to go out of town and we're not really supposed to bring fruit to California with you or anything, so I might make a fruit salad or something. And someone told me that if you chop it all up and put it like in a container, they won't take it away from you. But if it's like whole fruit like this, they'll take it away. We've never been stopped before, but I like to be cautious just in case. So I just didn't buy that many. I have a bunch that is frozen still, so I have plenty of bananas. And again, I haven't had... I've never bought these ones before, but they have a little bit of salt in them, but I just wanted to give them a try. Just a little snack every once in a while. Let's see what's over here. We got some multigrain crackers, because these are better than buying the regular saltines, which my husband really likes, but I got these last time and he liked them, so I'm giving them another try. Hopefully he won't complain. Got some more fig bars. We still have some of these left too, but it's only about a half a box. And I'm gonna um, bring those to my mom's house so she has a snack to give the kids. I'm gonna bring this and the rice rollers and some Lara bars and tell her that if they want snacks, they can have fresh fruit or they can have those Mommy. snacks that I bring. All right, and my last box over here has some power greens, um, some peppers, three things of cucumber noodles. Well, cucumbers, I'm gonna make cucumber noodles. <laughs> I'm gonna try to eat off a lot of cucumber noodles and try to eat high raw this week before we go on vacation and then also while we're on vacation I'm going to try to eat high raw so I got a bunch of cucumbers I got two watermelons because I've been giving the boys each half a watermelon and some kiwis for breakfast and we still have some kiwis left and they really like that so it's a good breakfast for them and then I got some butternut squash to cook also for the boys I was thinking of like maybe pureeing it and making like a, a spaghetti sauce out of it I have to look up a recipe for that, but I'm sure I can find one. And then, yeah, these peppers. I saw a really good recipe for stuffed cauliflower peppers. It looks really good. And I have some cauliflower in my freezer, so I might give that a try. If not, I'll probably end up blending these in um, raw soup or sauces, because that's really good, too. So, yeah, that was everything. And let me grab my receipt. So, yep, do 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 everything. Excuse the messy towel on the floor. That's my son. When he washes the dishes, he always gets the floor wet. So that's why that's there. <laughs> All right, here's our receipt. And I did get some Miralax too. So that's like 40 bucks on there that you see. Uh, so I spent about $200. Not too bad since the last time I went there, I spent like twice as much. So this is going to get us through the week. And gonna be eating healthy this week or trying really hard to anyway so anyway thanks for watching and this is what just happened to my sunflower seeds there's only half a bag left now dang it <laughs>